Recunoașterea și diagnosticarea deficitului de vitamina B12 reprezintă o problemă dificilă în practica medicală cotidiană. La ce simptome ar trebui să fie atenți medicii pentru a depista precoce un astfel de deficit, dar și cum ar trebui să-l trateze, explică pe larg profesor universitar dr. Maria Ducici, medic neurolog și geriatru la Spitalul Evanghelist Vende Göttingen din Germania. What uh, is the estimated uh, prevalence of vitamin B12 uh, deficiency in the general population in Germany? Uh, the current prevalence of uh, vitamin, vitamin B12 deficiency uh, is a very high range because depend on uh, parameters that you can uh, measure in your laboratory in Germany we are about 10 till 12 percent but uh, in um, elderly we have a prevalence about uh, 40 percent it's uh, different uh, for uh, europe no we have the same uh, risk groups and the same risk factors in all europe and the same kind of dietary so that The range are very similar between Europe, but also between USA and other countries. From your clinical uh, experience, who so far suffers more often from vitamin uh, B12 deficiency? Patient with uh, neurological disorder or uh, elderly people? Uh, both groups are uh, risk groups for uh, vitamin B12 deficiency. But in elderly, you have more risk factors as uh, medication, stomach disease, hypochlorhydria, so that they are a little bit higher risk to get B12 deficiency. Which uh, symptoms do patients most uh, frequently exhibit when they have a mild uh, to moderate uh, deficit of uh, vitamin B12? In uh, these uh, steps of uh, vitamin B12 deficiency, is it possible to have uh, um, unspecific uh, signs as uh, fatigue, uh, inappetence, uh, and uh, other very, very mild signs of neurological or psychiatric symptoms so that you have to be Uh, careful with symptoms as inappetence or weight loss or fatigue and to think about B12 deficiency. These are uh, specific symptoms or not? No, these are unspecific symptoms. And specific? Specific symptoms are more neurological, psychiatrical and hematological signs, but and even hematological signs. Uh, in the beginning, they are most untypical signs or very mild neurological or psychiatric signs. Hematological signs are later in a moderate or high stage of B12 deficiency. So the mild neurological symptoms as neuropathy or forgetfulness or very, very mild kind of dementia can be fine. How do you diagnose and treat a patient with uh, vitamin B12 deficiency in your daily clinical practice? You have a, a geriatric and a neurological doctor. Yes. The first step is that we start with uh, serum B12 to measure them. But The last study showed that uh, B12 is um, not so specific in the diagnosis of B12 deficiency. So that when you measure this is first, the second step is to measure holotranscobalamin and methylmalonic acid to to, for the treatment. You can start with a high dose of Uh, B12 uh, 
1,000 to 2,000 microgram per os, but in the high or very severe neurologic loop psychiatry signs, you can start with a parenteral B12 therapy and the follow this six or eight weeks later with per oral therapy. Practically, do you have uh, different treatment approaches uh, about uh, duration of treatment, for example, according to the measure uh, vitamin uh, B12 levels, yes? Yes, that's true. What uh, recommendations do you have for uh, Romanian uh, health uh, professional uh, regarding the treatment of early stage vitamin B12 uh, deficiency? In early stage, you can treat and supplement it by peroral therapy. The most important thing is a high dose. So you should start two times daily with one thousand microgram and then eight or 12 weeks later depend on the clinical signs you can reduce the dose when uh, treating a mild case of vitamin b12 deficiency with oral uh, 1000 micrograms of vitamin uh, b12 what do you consider to be the appropriate treatment duration uh, this is depend on the clinical signs. Even you have a mild or moderate symptoms, you can start for six to 12 months and then depend on the statement of the patient to decide to follow this in the same dose or to reduce this. By severe neurological and psychiatric symptoms is the best way for a whole the life to the end of the life. What kinds of uh, neurological disorders might develop if a vitamin B12 deficiency isn't treated properly? Uh, the first signs are um, neuropathy, uh, peripheral neuropathy with uh, gait uh, instabilities, with falls, or a little bit severe signs of. Uh, Neuropathy is possibility to get a funicular myelosis. You can have a irritability, the cognitive impairment with a mild or moderate, still severe signs of dementia, hallucinosis, psychosis, insomnia, and from clinical signs, uh, areflexia, loss of vibration. And uh, yeah, I think they are the most uh, important clinical signs. Do you have any concerns regarding the safety of vitamin B12 supplementation? No, vitamin B12 supplementation is severe and uh, you don't have to care uh, about this uh, problem because the toxicity isn't possible. Uh, and uh, a very big uh, study published uh, this uh, two years ago with a big population, about uh, 26,000 uh, participants. And in this study, the low concentration of vitamin B was associated with a higher rate of mortality or morbidity during uh, the time of the study and uh, also for the patient which took supplementation between or during uh, the study or before the study, uh, was, there was uh, no problems with the high concentration of supplements, even the patients with a low vitamin B12 supplementation has a higher old case mortality or cancer mortality than the patients which are normal or high B12 concentrations. Many doctors uh, have um, a big challenge about uh, when is Alzheimer, when is uh, vitamin B12 uh, deficiency. What is your opinion? <laughs> uh, uh, 
Ja, the uh, vitamin B12 deficiency can cause a science as an Alzheimer's disease. So even is it very important to know this because you can treat vitamin B12 deficiency, but Alzheimer's disease cannot be treated. And this is very important to know. And uh, the same are very, the, the first clinical signs are very similar. That's one point. And with the supplementation, you can treat this and Alzheimer's disease, no. But there are some studies which improve the vitamin B12 therapy as add-on therapy to the Alzheimer's diseases therapy. And the study showed that add-on therapy with vitamin B12 to the Alzheimer disease therapy is better than alone Alzheimer disease therapy. This is the second important point. Do you consider uh, if uh, is under diagnosis um, vitamin B12 uh, deficiency in Germany, in Europe? Yes. Um, yeah, usually uh, more important is every two or three years to measure the vitamin B12 status for all risk groups that we have. And in the general practice, a lot of colleagues didn't think about this so that you know all your risk groups and you prefer to measure all two to three years vitamin B12 status, then you are on the good way.